I'm Nicole Byer and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing I do when I wake up is take my ADD medication, otherwise I will forget to take it. A typical breakfast for me, if I'm like having a weekend in Palm Springs and someone else is doing the cooking, is... I'm trying to think of what I ate last time I was in Palm Springs. So that was like bacon and eggs and toast and we had bagels. And then I think a frittata, it was... Uh, it was some sort of like thing in a in a thing. Well, I'm really killing it at explaining things. A typical lunch for me is I really like Nature Valley peanut bars and maybe like a LaCroix. My favorite LaCroix flavor is peach pear. A close second is coconut because it tastes like sunscreen. A third is Papa Moose because I like the, the way you say it. So I'm I'm a very big LaCroix connoisseur. I did not think I was someone who got hangry, but I am. I get very irritable if I haven't eaten, because I don't eat in the mornings, because I don't like feeling super full. And then later, I get very angry and upset. A typical dinner. So like lately I've been cooking these like purple carrot meals because I was like, I'm a vegan. I'm not a vegan, but I like to claim it. I'm a vegan. I'll make spaghetti and meat sauce with a uh, impossible meat. I can't remember the name of the pasta sauce I use, but it's like Joey's from Italy. Yeah, that's my favorite. Spaghetti, spaghetti and meat sauce. If life were perfect and I had superpowers and I could travel <laughs> to different cities to get exactly what I want. So in LA, I would get a How and Ray's chicken sandwich because with no pickles because it is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. It's so good. I would do cheese fries from this restaurant uptown called Toast. It is so good. Also their mac and cheese is really good. So I guess I'd get their mac and cheese too. Also I would get a Caesar salad with chicken, bacon, light on the croutons, the dressing on the side. I would get that from Toast too. And then I would head on over to Italy. I would go to Rome and I would get, um, Carbonara, not carbonara, yes, is it carbonara? It's carbonara, so they make carbonara there with egg yolk. Here they make it with cream. Incorrect and kind of disgusting. But they use this egg yolk that they very uh, slowly like envelop into the pasta and it gets this like bright yellowy orangey color and it is so good and delightful. And then they don't make it with bacon, they make it I think with pancetta. Oh, I can't remember the place where I got this pizza, but it was so good, it was delightful. I asked them for Parmesan cheese and they flat out said no, because that is not the way it was meant to be eaten. And I said, okay, that's fine. Also, what, what would I get for dessert? I guess I'd wake my godmother my Aunt Bertha up from the dead and I'd have her make me a sweet potato pie because there's sweet potato, oh wait, was that my Aunt Bertha? Who else do I have to wake up from the dead? I don't know, one of the ladies from the church I grew up in who might be dead, who might not be dead, I would have them make me a sweet potato pie. I hope I didn't kill off anyone. I don't know if Miss Odessa is still alive or not, but that's the answer. <laughs> My go-to snacks are the little itty bitty Ritz crackers with peanut butter. They're hard to find. A lot of stores don't have them, but Albertsons does. Honey roasted peanuts are very good. And then Planters has these other peanuts and they remind me of the peanuts that you buy on the street in New York, like the hot for you nuts. Uh, so I like those. My favorite food city, I think is New York. It's got the best food, truly. It's so good, but also Italy. I went to Rome and truly everywhere we went was a dream. Like you would just sit down in a hole in the wall and then they'd be like, here's a mozzarella from the cows up north. They serve food in a way where it's an art form. So I guess I would say Rome and New York. And that's what I eat in a day. And you can watch Nailed It on Netflix, you can watch Wipeout on TBS. You can listen to my podcast, Why Won't You Date Me, Best Friends, 90 Day Bay on Patreon, uh, Newcomers with Lauren Lapkus. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm doing. <laughs>